We're in the month of January and Easter is just around the corner, so it is the perfect time to create an Easter coloring book to sell on Amazon. First go to canva.com or open the app if you installed it on your computer. Click on the Create Design button. Choose Custom Size. Enter the width and height which will be 8.5 and 11. Change the unit to inches. I'll just click this. Once it is done loading, you will see a single page on the canvas. We want a border around our images, so go to the side panel and click the Elements tab. Click the square shape to add it to the page. We need to resize it so it is big enough for the image, but we have to leave enough margin around the page that Amazon KDP requires. Our book will have around 40 pages with no bleed so we need 0.375 inches for the inside margin and at least 0.25 inches for the outside margins. It needs to be centered, so click on the three dots, click position, click center and middle. Now, let's change the border style. You can change the weight also, but we'll just use this value. Click here to change the color from gray to white. Now we have a border for our images. Next, we will use ChatGPT to get some ideas for scenes to include in our coloring book. So I'll type, give me 50 scenes for an Easter coloring book for kids. ChatGPT will give us some good suggestions and you can choose which ones you want to use as prompts for the images. Let's copy the first one. We will use this as a prompt to generate the coloring page in Canva Go back to Canva, look for the Magic Media tab on the side panel. If you don't see it, go to Apps, search for Magic Media and click on the button. Here is where we will paste the prompt from ChatGPT. Make sure the Images tab is selected. Right click in the text area and paste. We need to modify the prompt a little, so add the text, Coloring Page for Kids. White background and simple. Scroll down to change the aspect ratio to portrait because our book size is 8.5 by 11. Click generate image. In about one minute, four images will be shown and you can choose any of them to use. Every generation deducts one point from your total credits. Pro accounts have 500 credits per month and the free version has 50 credits for the lifetime of the account. These images look nice. I will click on one to add to the page, resize it to make it bigger, but keep it inside the border. I like to remove the background from my coloring book images, so go to Edit Photo. Click BG Remover. This is only available for Pro users. Duplicate the page and delete the image so there's only the border. Copy the border page as many times as the number of coloring pages in your book. I like to zoom in on the image just to make sure it looks good. Looks good to me. I'll do one more. Now, you'll repeat. The process of copying a prompt from ChatGPT, pasting it into Magic Media, and generating the images. After you have all of your images in the order you like, what I like to do is add a blank page between each image, just in case the ink bleeds through the page. I like to add a, this book belongs to page, so let's do that. Go to the Elements tab again. Under Graphics, search for Easter. You will see many graphics that you can add to your design. If you see a crown next to it, that is only available for Pro accounts. I like this one. Just drag it to make it as big as you like, but don't go outside the margins. Add a horizontal line so the customer can write his or her name. Make it the size you like and position it wherever you want it. You can also change the color of the line. Now go to the text tab and add a heading. You can change the font family here. I like this one. 
You can change the size and color of the text if you like. Those options are next to the font family option on the toolbar. Since I added this page, the images are on even number pages. I want them on odd number pages, so the blank page is on the back of the image. So I will just add another blank page after the first page. We are done with the interior of the book. Let's create the book cover. Go to Amazon KDP's cover calculator webpage and enter this information. Binding is paperback. Interior is black and white. Paper type is white. Direction is left to right. Unit inches. Trim size is 8.5 by 11. And the page count is four to one. Click the Calculate Dimensions button. Now you have a template to create your cover. Download it. Go back to Canva.Create a new design. Get the width and height from the template. You want the full cover dimensions. They are in inches. I already used that size. So I'll just click here. Now navigate to your downloads folder and unzip the template file you downloaded. Open the unzipped folder and you should see three files. You want the PNG file. Drag it onto the canvas. Drag the corners to the edges of the canvas. Go back to the magic media tab and write a prompt for the type of image you want for the book cover. I already have my prompt copied, so I'll just paste it. Change the aspect ratio to portrait. Generate the image. Choose the image you like. If you don't like any of them, you can generate it again and or change the prompt. These bunnies aren't cute enough, so I will change the prompt. Okay, I like this one. Move it the, the corner of the front cover and drag it to the bottom. Make sure you cover the pink outline completely. Drag this side to the dotted line. Adjust it to your liking. I don't want the ears cut off, so I'll adjust it. Now let's do the back cover. Go to Elements and add a square. Move it and resize it so it covers the entire back cover and part of the spine. Click this to change the color. Let's add the title. Go to the text tab and add a heading. Change the text to Easter. Style it however you like. This color kind of blends into the background, so let's add an outline. Go to Effects, click Outline. Click here to change the color of the outline. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. Copy the title. Type coloring book for kids. Make it smaller and change the color to white or whatever you want. Now I will check that the text is within the pink border. So click on the image, click here to reduce the transparency. As you can see, the text is in the safe area. The safe area is the white area inside the pink border. Make sure it is centered. If everything looks good, set the transparency back to 100. Okay, now let's add some sample coloring pages to the back cover. Go back to your interior file. Decide which images you would like to use. I only generated two images, so I will use them. Click on the page, click on position. Here, you will see the Arrange and Layers tab. Click on Layers. While holding down the Control button on your keyboard, click on the first two layers. Click Group. Right, click, and copy. Go back to your book cover. Right, click, and paste. Drag the corner to make it smaller.
go back to the interior file and click on group. Repeat this for all of the images you would like to add to the back cover. This is how the back cover looks after. Adding another example page. So, I will check to make sure the images are in the safe area. They are. We are done with the cover. Now go here to download it. Click download. Select PDF print. Flatten it. RGB is good enough, but if you have a pro account, you can choose this one. Click download. Remember to go back to your interior design and download that also using the same settings you used for downloading the book cover. Open up your Amazon KDP bookshelf. Click on the create button. Click paperback. Enter the title of your book. Enter the subtitle. Add your author name. I always use a pen name. Enter a description of your book. We are going to ask ChatGPT for a description. If you like it, just copy it and paste it in the description box. Make sure you proofread it and make any necessary changes. I own the copyright. No. My primary marketplace in Amazon.com. Choose your categories. You have to have at least one and no more than three. This is not a low content book, so do not click this. Here is where you will enter the keywords for your book. I will just enter a few. I want to release the book now. Click save. If you receive any errors, just go back and fix them. Okay, here we will add an ISBN for the book. You can get a free one from Amazon, which is only valid on the Amazon website. Or you can use your own. Since we are only going to sell this book on Amazon, we'll choose the free ISBN. Here we choose the print options. We want black and white interior on white paper. Change the trim size to 8.5 by 11. There's no bleed and a glossy finish for the book cover. Here you will upload the manuscript, which is the interior file you downloaded and choose to upload a cover you already have. I will do this in a minute. Now we have to enter information about AI-generated content. Since we used AI to generate our images and the description for the book, we have to choose yes and enter what tools we used. I entered Canva as the tool used to generate the images. Maybe I should enter Magic Media, but I'm not sure. Now I've uploaded the interior and the book cover. Let's preview it. You can see any errors under this quality check sidebar. There are no errors, but if you have any, you will have to fix them and upload the files again. Now check the cover. And interior. Important texts and graphics should be inside the dotted rectangle. You can download and a PDF proof file. Click approve. The printing price per book is $2.84. Click save and continue. Now we'll enter the price of our book. I never change the territories and primary marketplace settings, but you do so if you need to. Enter the price of your book. I suggest looking at similar books for sale on Amazon to see how they are priced, to get an idea of how you should price your book. So if we set the price to $6.99, the royalty we'll receive for each book sold will be $1.35 in the US marketplace. 
Click Expanded Distribution if you want your book to reach more readers through bookstores, online retailers, and other institutions. Scroll down and check the royalty for each marketplace. If necessary, you can adjust the price for each individual marketplace. If you are satisfied with everything, click the Publish Your Paperback button. Once your book is processed, you will get an email from Amazon indicating if your book has been approved and is now available for purchase, or some errors were found and you will have to correct them and resubmit it. A few more things I need to mention. If your images are blurry, you might want to use an upscaler. There are some free ones online. If you have mid-journey, you can upscale your images two or four times the original size. Also, this tutorial utilized the paid version of Canva Pro, but there are free tools you can use to make AI-generated coloring books. Look out for that tutorial, which I should be uploading soon.